Elders Robert and Tracy Carr from Empower and Word Christian Center. And we're coming to you from Zero Gravity Team Bounce Back, ages 12 to 17. <laughs> Hey man, tonight we're going to be having a Bible study. We're going to just be doing a few scripture references. And the reason why is because Sunday pastor said that we're in this to get results. Amen. And the best way to get results is to understand and learn the word of God. Amen. And our first scripture tonight is going to be coming from Psalms 119 verse 105. And it reads... Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. And out of that, just that passage of scripture, when it says your word is a lamp Mm -hmm. unto my feet, that means that God is giving me direction. Amen. Amen. And, uh, and, And it says, and a light to my path. So if I follow God's directions and the path that he gives me is going to be light. There's not going to be no darkness down there. You know how sometimes you go on your own and you not listening to uh, the Holy Spirit when it tells you don't do that. But you do go and do something else. Mm-hmm. Then that that path that you take might be mm-hmm. dark. So when it says that God's lamp is a light unto my path, that means God is giving me heavenly kingdom directions. Amen. 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 And our next scripture is coming from the same book, uh, Psalms 119 verse 11, where it says, your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Mm -hmm. So again, um, Pastor was saying Sunday how we are a spirit. Yeah. We have an earth suit, which is our body, mm-hmm. but we possess a soul, That's which is our mind, emotions, and our will. Mm-hmm. So we have to get from our mind into our heart. Like he was saying, we have to meditate. Meditate. We just can't take the word Sunday and think we can live off uh, uh, what was preached Sunday if we're not meditating on it and studying it. And, you know, but we have to take the word of God or the teachings that we have received and meditate on that and follow scriptures and, and study it. So it says that your word I have hidden in my heart. So when you study it, and you meditate on it, it goes from your mind into your heart, which is your emotions, uh, uh, and then it becomes your will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So your will, your emotions, when you study in God's word, when it leaves your mind and goes into your emotion, then your will would be what God wants you to do. And, 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 and you, you can, um, uh, learn to study God's word and learn to fall in love with the word of God. Amen. 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 Because Amen. the word of God is so good. Amen. Um, uh, Sunday's lesson was so powerful that I was just like in awe because it just made so much sense mm-hmm. when you're understanding the kingdom. Yeah. You know, it, I mean, we, we, we been in church a long time, but a lot of times people taught religion. Right. And, uh, you think a lot of times you doing the right thing and most of the time you are doing the right things because you're going off basically what you've been learned or taught. But when you start understanding the kingdom and yeah. understanding how yeah. the word of God is broke down yeah. and it um, magnifies every area in your life, it, right. it, it has answers for uh, happiness, sadness, heart hurt, uh, healing, uh, prosperity, whatever you name, it has it in there. Amen. And like you were saying, which was good, we were taught, we were taught church. Right. We weren't challenged in the word. Exactly. Um, we would hear, hear the preach word, right? but there was never any challenge for us to be in the word. And so that's what we want to make sure that you guys are doing or being challenged in the word Amen. because the word is what's going to keep you through trials and tribulations. And as Elder Carr said, it, the, the Bible and studying that word, that's that light that's going to guide you mm-hmm. and, 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 and into truth. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. And then real quick, guys, just, just a quick testimony about how uh, Pastor uh, White uh, impacted my life. The first time I met him is that I was at um, uh, our previous church and I had been studying the word of God and I was like, what is going on? It's something with these Hittites, the Amorites, <laughs> and the Jebusites and all of these ites. And I just couldn't put my finger on it. I was like, Lord, what is it? So I went to uh, my leader and, you know, they was just like, you know, he, he kind of told me to just study and just seek the Holy Ghost and stuff. But, you know, just by reading the word of God and I, I, I just was kind of, I knew it was more to it, but I just Amen. never found out. But when we came to Empowering Word, Pastor was talking about uh, witches and warlocks. And then I'm going to get back on it. But, and then I was like, what is he talking about? You know, so I started shielding the family and everything. But come to find out, this is how God is. Come to find out, he was teaching about the Hittites and the Amorites and the Jebusites and telling us about all the things about the ites. And that's why I love uh, bringing the understanding of the word to light so that you can understand mm -hmm. that not just he understand he said right. that we he making we're making disciples amen and amen. the best way to make disciples is to teach is to and teach. to and to challenge That's a person right. to read the word That's right. and amen. our last scripture is coming from second timothy the second chapter verse number 15 and it reads as follow it says be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. So when it says be diligent, that means study the word of God. In, in, in the King James Version, it says study to show thyself approved a workman unto God. Mm -hmm. Show yourself approved a workman unto God. Yes. Not man, right. not your friend, not Sally, not Bobo, not Johnny, unto God. Unto God. Unto God. And once you so show, prove yourself unto God, then that goes back to he's a lamp unto your feet. You see what I'm saying? It all works in, in, in conjunction together. Amen. And it Amen. says, um, uh, a worker who does not need to be ashamed. You shouldn't be ashamed about knowing no. the word of God. No. Because when you study the word of God, and then God will show you how to rightly divide the word. Mm -hmm. And rightly divide the word means understanding the word in its fullness. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so tonight we just want to encourage you to uh, study the Word of God, mm -hmm. and uh, Elder Tracy has a, a, a few steps that she wants to uh, tell you about on how to uh, study the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Um, yeah, so we just want to make sure that, you know, the foundation of studying the Word that you guys have, and I... Um, this method, I don't know, it's called the SOAP method, and it, it's really good to help you if you don't know how to study the Word or if you're new in the Word, it'll help you to kind of put things in perspective when you're studying the Scripture, okay? And so first, before you get ready to start studying the Word, make sure you get in a quiet place where you're not distracted. Mm -hmm. um, get your Bible. You really only need three things. Your Bible, your pen, and a piece of paper. So mm -hmm. you can write things down and you have your word. Mm -hmm. And so um, always follow if you're new at this and don't know how to study your word. It's called the SOAP method. S-O-A-P. And the S is for scripture. Get the scripture. Write it down. So, I mean, if you want if you want to start, it depends on you which book you're starting in, whether it's Psalms, Proverbs, the Old Testament, New Testament, wherever you want to start, write the scripture down. So that's S, find your scripture. O, when, once you get your scripture and you write it down, O is for observe the scripture. Read it, examine it. You know, um, what where were they? What was it, what was what was it saying to you? What were some of the key words? Look and see what's italicized or what's in bold or mm -hmm. what stands out. Okay? So make sure you observe that scripture. Just look at the key key points in it. Amen. A application. How does this apply to you? 
How can you make it personal to your situation? And what do you take away from the scripture? Amen, that's good. Okay, so you're going to write the scripture down, S. O, you're going to observe the, the scripture, pick out the key points. Um, and then A, um, how does this apply to you? Okay, and lastly, you're going to pray. Oh, P is for pray. You always want to pray, Lord, open my mind, open my understanding. Give me revelation of your word. Give me wisdom of your word. Mm -hmm. So you want to pray, lastly, over everything. You want to pray before and after, Amen. actually, Amen. Over, over that scripture because you want God to open up your understanding. You want him to give you revelation of that word. Amen. So this is called the SOAP method. You can even write it down, you know, S-O-A-P, S is for scripture, O is for observe the scripture, A is for application, how does it apply to me, and P is for prayer. And this is just the basics to make sure you're doing something every single day, because as Elder Carr said, the, the foundation is the word. The Amen. foundation is the word. Now, we were getting, you know, we're not, we, we're, we weren't downing previous things right but what we were trying to say is you know we got the word but as it applies to us personally we didn't have to be we weren't challenged in it so thank god we had our own relationship with god but it's always good to be challenged in the word and and um just study to show yourself Amen. approved when when it just to know so that you can't have any uh false doctrine uh, you know, a lot of times that's how people fall into false doctrine because they haven't studied their word and got the understanding and revelation of it for themselves. Mm -hmm. And so when you when you when somebody tell you a lie, you know, it because people can take the, the word out of context and, and it make it sound like it is what it is, but it's not. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want our youth to make sure that you're studying the word of God, that you understand the word of God. If you have questions, you know, you can talk to, to the pastors, to the leaders, to anybody that you know are, are well versed in scripture. And we just, we just want to make sure that you're, 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 you're taking that in. in. Amen. 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 Cause we want results Amen. as well. And, um, one more thing too, um, make sure when you study in the word of God, find a time that is not uh, going to be, um, uh, you know, don't don't set a time and you know that your pictures, your show is coming on right. in 15 <laughs> minutes or whatever. Right. Because, you know, then that's how the enemy has a chance to sneak in. But, amen. amen. So, we just want to uh, pray. And, like I said, the scriptures is 2 Timothy, um, the second chapter, verse 15, Psalms 119, verse 105, and Psalms 119, verse 11. Amen. 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 Gracious Father, we thank you for this time of sharing, Lord. We thank you for your word, God. We thank you that you give wisdom and understanding and knowledge, God. God, we just ask that you... Um, Continue to uh, strengthen us as we strengthen the teams, God. Give us, uh, give them encouraging, uh, encourage them in the word of God, God. Give them the understanding that they're looking for, God. And God, most of all, God, uh, give them a heart to want to ask questions amen. and to get complete understanding yes. of your word. In Jesus' name in Jesus. we pray. Amen. Amen.